Section forty five of Wessex Poems by Thomas Hardy. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Libby Gone. Eris and Architect for A. W. B. She sought the studios, beckoning to her side an arch designer, for she planned to build. He was of wise contrivance, deeply skilled in every interval of high and wide well fit to be her guide whatever it be responded he with cold clear voice and cold clear view in true accord with prudent fashionings for such vicissitudes as living brings and thwarting not the law of stable things that i will do shape me she said high halls with tracery and open ogive work that scent and hue of buds and travelling bees may come in through the note of birds and singings of the sea, for these are much to me. An idle whim broke forth from him, whom naught could warn to gallantries. Seed all these buds and birds, the zephyrs call, and scents and hues, and things that falter all, and choose as best the close and surly wall for winter's freeze. Then frame, she cried, wide fronts of crystal glass, that I may show my laughter and my light light like the suns by day the stars by night till rival heart queens envying wail alas her glory as they pass o maid misled he sternly said whose facile foresight pierced her dear where shall abide the soul when sick of glee it shrinks and hides and prays no eye may see those house them best who house for secrecy for you will tire a little chamber then with swan and dove ranged thickly and engraved with rare device of reds and purples for a paradise wherein my love may greet me i my love when he shall know thereof this too is ill he answered still the man who swayed her like a shade an hour will come when sight of such sweet nook would bring a bitterness too sharp to brook when brighter eyes have won away his look for you will fade then she said faintly oh contrive some way some narrow winding turret quite mine own to reach a loft where i may grieve alone it is a slight thing hence do not i pray this last dear fancy slay such winding ways fit not your days said he the man of measuring eye i must even fashion as my rule declares to wit give space since life ends unawares, to hail a coffined corpse adown the stairs, for you will die. 1867 End of section 45